Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Loding. I am a developer advocate here at Komunda, and today I want to show off one of our latest process blueprints. For those that aren't familiar with process blueprints, they are process templates that you can easily import into Modeler to kickstart your process development. Uh, they are hosted on the Komunda Marketplace. If you go to marketplace.komunda.com, you can click on process blueprint on the top and view all of the process blueprints that were either created by Komunda or submitted by members of our community and our partners. Uh, the easiest and quickest way to get started with a process blueprint in Web Modeler is to open a new project, click the Create New button, select Browse Process Blueprints, and select the, the blueprint that you want to work with. To save time for this video, I've already imported that blueprint, and I've also gone into the RPA connectors and added my client ID, my client secret, uh, the organization name, the organization unit ID, the queue name, all of those variables that you need in order to interact with UiPath over the API. So before I show how UiPath is configured, let's take a quick look at the process itself. Uh, when the process starts, we add a task to a queue. Uh, that item will uh, trigger some sort of event within UiPath, which we will take a look at in a moment. After that, we enter this sub process. Uh, where we hit an event-based gateway. This gateway is waiting for one of two things to happen, either 60 seconds to go by, which is our SLA for this process. If it takes longer than 60 seconds, we're gonna consider that as something has gone wrong and we're gonna consider that an error. Otherwise, we're waiting for an inbound webhook call from UiPath to give us the status of the job that we added to the queue. Uh, if the job has just started, then we're gonna loop back around and wait for more information. Uh, if it's completed, then we're going to end the process. Everything worked exactly as we wanted it to. If the job failed, we're going to fire a compensation event, at which point we're going to revert the RPA job. And if needed, we're going to manually perform the task. If the job was abandoned, then we're going to go fetch some further information from the UiPath API. We can manually review that, and then depending on what needs to be done, we can retry the, the RPA job, or we can manually perform the task and end the process. Now, before we run this and see it in action, I do want to take a real quick moment to look at how UiPath is configured. I have a virtual machine over here uh, that is running a green screen emulator. Uh, that's how we're gonna actually interact with uh, the RPA bot. Um, inside of UiPath, we have a queue configured. This is the queue that we're going to add the item to. And that queue has a trigger. So whenever an item is added to that queue, this trigger gets fired. And you can see that we're going to interact with a green screen emulator here. The other thing that I have set up is a webhook. So this webhook will fire uh, whenever a queue item is completed, failed, abandoned, or started, those same conditions that we were checking for in the sub process. And that calls the inbound webhook URL that I have deployed for my process. Now let's switch back over to Modeler. Let's go ahead and run this. I'm gonna run it on my ZB 8.5 cluster, which is the latest version as of recording. And in just a moment, we're going to see not just the process in operate, but we will also see our green screen emulator open up on the left here. There's the emulator. So we're interacting with the legacy system here. We've added the task to the queue. Now we're waiting to see what happens next. And once the webhook fires, oh, there was the first webhook, so the transaction was started. Now we're waiting again. And hopefully in just a moment, there it is. So we got the completed command and our process exited successfully. So as you can see, the process blueprints give you a very simple way to get started with various patterns and practices with BPMN, as well as integrations with other services such as UiPath. Thanks for having a look at this video and hopefully you enjoy the process blueprints. Thanks.